Hey guys, Oni here. Today I'm trying something a little different. Instead of playing a game, I'm just going to be talking about servants I'd like to potentially see in the DLC stories for Fate Samurai Remnant. Also, this list isn't really in any special order of who I want to see more. Yeah, anyways, let's just get into the list. Muramasa Senji, the body of my favorite fate protagonist, Shiro Emiya, with the heroic spirit of Senji Muramasa, a famed blacksmith, combined into a powerful pseudo-servant that I think would be a great addition to Fate Samurai Remnant, not only from a gameplay standpoint, but also from a setting standpoint. A Japanese blacksmith would be pretty fitting for a game set in Edo period Japan. At number 9 I got Kojiro Sasaki since he's another servant from Fate Stay Night since they decided to add Kuhu Lane instead even though he has nothing to do with samurai or anything. But anyways, Kojiro is a skilled swordsman and part of the assassin class but I also think he deserves his own saber class and I think this game could really pull off making a saber version of Kojiro that would make him more powerful. <laughs> Now you might think it's weird for me to choose Gilgamesh since I literally just pointed out that Kuhu Lane has nothing to do with Samurai yet he's in the game, but I mean it would just be funny to play as to be honest. Okay, Astolfo, memes aside, Astolfo is really one of my favorite like servants in Fate because his personality is a heroic and then like helpful but also chaotic and funny servant. He was also playable in Fate Extella Link which I think Fate Samurai Remnant will be similar to since they're both warrior games. I also want to stop it to make it because I think he's real. Hey guys, Oni here. Make sure you check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys in the link below. <laughs> Alright, at 6 I got Yushi Wakamaru since I think she's a cool servant that would fit in the game as a rider with katana skills. Also, I've seen her gameplay in Melty Blood, so I think she'd be pretty cool in a Warriors type game as well. <laughs> Next I have Okita Soji because I want to say Artoria just because I like her, but she really wouldn't fit in the game, and I'm, I'm trying to somewhat stick to a samurai theme for this video, with at least like like the majority of the servants aside from Astolfo and Gilgamesh. But I'm going to say Okita because she's the saber face that uses the katana, and would have a pretty cool moveset. <laughs> Next up I got Oda Nobunaga because she's also a Japanese servant that could work well in the game's Edo period Japan setting, also because of her moveset. <laughs> Next up I got Shuten Doji because she's also a Japanese servant that could work well with the setting. She's also an assassin class and a pretty interesting character. <laughs>
Alright, next up I got Tamamo because I like how she plays in Fate Excel Link, which is another Warriors game that would probably translate pretty well to Fate Samurai Remnant, and also she fits in well with the Japanese team. <laughs> Alright, and the last character I got is Okada Izo because one, he's dripped out of his mind, two, fits the Samurai Ido Japan theme, three, playing as him would be crazy, and four, also, a boss fight against him would be terrifying and cool at the same time. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more videos like these, and remember, stay daffy.